Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Last episode, we made this little skeleton farm that has diorite in front of it right now. I didn't definitely, I, I definitely didn't put that there. Did, did somebody diorite my farm? Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. I mean, everything seems to be fine. Maybe they just put a little bit of diorite right there at the entrance. But I need to check. This is, this could be terrible. I didn't get like a message in Discord or anything saying somebody pranked me. No, it all seems to be working. Uh, and I, I, I'm hoping that people have been making use of the farm and, and enjoying it. I, honestly, I'm recording this maybe like six hours, seven hours after I recorded the last one, so people haven't necessarily even had a chance to really get on the server and use it yet, but either way, uh, what I want to do in today's episode is I want to build a little bit of a stables, um, and of course it is, like, night. Um, tell you what, I'm just gonna throw it on a bed and sleep here. There's also ladders on the building! What, what who, who laddered my building? I didn't even notice these at first. All right, I, I'm... Wait a minute. There's ladders on the roof. Why... What's going on? Did so... <laughs> you know what? I don't know what... I, I have no idea what's actually happening here. Why there are ladders on the roof and stuff. But... What? I'm so confused. Um... Tell you what. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> we'll worry about it later. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I wanna build a little bit of a stables. Apparently, I'm not the only one. You guys have told me in the comments. Uh, and this building by Rendog is looking amazing, by the way. It's still under construction. Uh, but over here by the community enchanting area, um, I've come over here a couple times on my horse, and my horse has wandered off because he is a stupid horse that wanders off. Uh, and apparently I'm not the only one who's had that issue, so I'd like to build a little bit of a stable, uh, stables, like, over in here somewhere, so that when people come to the community enchanting area, or for that matter, to Rendog's restaurant or the skeleton farm, or anything that's, like, right around here, they can just kind of deposit their horse. Um, but before I do that, Cubfan apparently has opened up a coral shop that, from what I've heard, is like incredible like it's some next level stuff and i haven't seen it yet so i want to pop over there and look i think it's that one i think it's the like bluish building over there let's just see yeah we can quickly make our way there we go oh yeah look at this oh this is really cool okay so uh, i'm gonna try and deposit my horse somewhere. Oh, this looks like Impulse. This is Impulse's shop as well that he's working on. I don't see an entrance, though. Impulse, how are we supposed to get into your shop, buddy? I mean, I see a nether portal. And I think he's probably just AFK. Hmm. I was gonna park my horse inside of his shop if he had double doors. But you know what I'll do? Well, uh, I, I, Python, Python's house, I know, has, uh, double doors on it, so, Python, I'm, 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 I hope you don't mind, buddy, I'm just gonna temporarily park my horse in your house, I hope, I, I hope that doesn't bother you, <laughs> that way you won't run off and do something stupid, alright, let's go take a look at this coral shop, I'm really excited, I've heard that this is, like, something absolutely amazingly incredible, so there's a wall. Oh, I see. So you actually, I, I just want to look and make sure. Yeah, so this is not the way in. This is the way in right here. Oh, it's all underwater. That's super cool. Okay, so one diamond for every three, and that will get you the coral. One diamond per 32. So these are the coral fans. And this is the actual coral itself. This is amazing. And then in here, one diamond for a half stack of the 
coral blocks. This is so cool! The idea of doing it all, like, entirely underwater is awesome. Now, it, my oxygen is also, like, not going down? I mean, and I do have respiration. Uh, I have respiration three, but that doesn't make it so I can breathe indefinitely. That just makes it so that I can breathe for a longer time. So I wonder if Cub has done some sort of, like, sneaky technical trickery of some sort so that you can actually breathe here. I mean, because, cause like, look at this. I can just, like, swim around in the shop. It's kind of a little weird, kind of glitching out all over the place. But still, look at this place. This is awesome. I, I don't know what I would actually use coral for at this point, but if I ever do need coral, now I know where to go for sure. That's super cool. And I think that's, like, the first actual shop. Oh, hey, look! Impulse! Impulse is, uh, is actually walking around. He's not AFK anymore. Open for business? Yet? Because if he has a mending villager... Let me know when you have... Mending books for sale. Ooh. Okay. All right, let's see here. So, uh, he must have a mend... Uh, is this the mending? Yeah, look at that. Ten emeralds. Oh, baby. What are you going to charge? Or is this just community trading hall? Because this is gonna, like, oh man, I, we need mending books so bad. Like, uh, are these all librarians? Yeah, these are all librarians. Holy cow, he must have a, a super villager breeder somewhere. So we're gonna have to do some villager trading. I mean, uh, well, let's do the stables. Let's not get sidetracked here. Let's do the stables, and then we'll do uh, a little bit of trading, try to get some emeralds together, and see if maybe we can get, uh... Some mending books, because I think 10, 10 emeralds for a mending book is like, I don't know if that's as good as it gets, but that has to be pretty close to as good as it gets. Like, oh, and we should also uh, get our horse back from <laughs> Python's house. Um, let's see, I think his doorway is on this side. Yeah, here we go. I, I need I need Roach back, Python. Hope you don't mind. Thank you for uh, storing him for me. I appreciate it. Anyway, let me run to the uh, trading hall, or the uh, the warehouse, I should say. Let me run to my warehouse. Let me get some resources and stuff like that together. Uh, and then we'll go and build a quick stables, and then we'll do some, uh, some mending villager trading stuff so we can actually get some mending books. I knew if I waited long enough, I would uh, someone would do it for me so that I didn't have to do any of that cheaty AFK fishing stuff that some hermits are doing. That's a joke, by the way. I really don't care if people are AFK fishing. Anyway, let me get together. Let me get some resources together. I'll be back with you in just a sec. Alrighty, guys. I am back. We're at the uh, villager trading, or not the villager trading, <laughs> the community enchanting center. That's what I meant to say. We're over here, and uh, it's time to dump our horse, and actually, it looks like there's a hole like right here. Yeah, look at that. I can dump my horse in a hole and he'll stay safe. Okay, so now over here, I want to build uh, some proper stables. And I think I probably just want to put them like right over here. Uh, let me throw down my bed. I mean, they don't need to be super, super big. Probably like right here would be good. And then what we'll probably do is like peel this hill back a little bit. Yeah, we'll just peel this back just a little. Like so. I'll sleep real quick. And that should give us enough space. I, I think we only probably need, like, two stalls. And if we have two stalls, that'll be enough, I think, for, you know... I, I can't imagine there's going to be too many people 
on their horses over here at any given time. So let's just kind of maybe do a little something like that. Sure, that'll work. And then this will be our little stable area over here. Oh, did Impulse beat me to the sleeping? Oh, he did. Look at that. Anyway, so as for the stables themselves, uh, we need a crafting bench. I think we'll probably go like that, right? Like about here-ish. And I'd like to have logs, but the problem is that logs don't look all that great. Uh, so instead, the other thing too is that I think I want to have coarse dirt underneath the, the pens instead of uh, grass, just because I think it'll look a little better. So let's go like so. And we'll just fill all of this in with coarse dirt. There we go. And then it becomes a matter of how do we want to do... I We probably could get away with logs, I think. Like, what we could do is go... Log, 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 right? And then back here, fence, 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 fence. Uh, and then we make these logs as well. Is that going to be enough space? I think that this actually needs to come out just a little bit more. So we'll go here. And then like so. And then we'll turn these into coarse dirt as well. So that should work. And then I need some fence gates. Uh, so let's see. I think we need 16. Right? Like so? Yeah, there we go. And we'll put our fence gates here. Now, the problem is that horses, I believe, can climb up on top of these logs and get uh, out of the pen. So if we raise all of the logs up by one, that should hold them. And then it's just a matter of uh, getting a roof on it. So just to keep it simple, uh, let's do a stack's worth. Grab some slabs. There we go. I think we want to start back here. Right? And we'll go like so. And then up here, we'll bring it up by one. Uh, I'm just going to throw something like that. There we go. And I just basically want to bring this up by one each level. So it'll be just a, a real simple, like, half slab slope. And then the question is, will that come out? Yeah, look at that. It will actually top off exactly where I want it to. Good, good, good. I was a little concerned there. So we'll bring that over and this up like so. There we go. And then we just got to fix those couple of slabs there. Bring those up. And then I suppose, uh, do we want to do it? I I'm almost tempted to just do it like this. Like, I know it's not a perfect slope increase or whatever, but I think that's probably okay. And then let's actually just go like that and like that. And I think that'll make it a little bit better. So now we have just some real simple little stables. And we could even do something like this, I suppose. And I'm not really a huge fan of that, though. What if we bring this back? Bring it down one? Nah, I don't like that either. Hmm. 
I suppose what we could do is this, though. I, I know what we'll do. We just jump up here. We'll say right here. This one comes up like so. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That totally works. And I think instead of full blocks right here, we'll put in dark oak stairs. I just need a couple of these guys. One there, one there, and one there. Just to kind of uh, bring that shape out a little bit better. Yeah, I think that totally works. It's a it's super simple stables, but they'll get the job done. And that's the important thing. Uh, and then I think I'll put a torch here, here, and here. And then here, here, and there. And everyone's waving to Biffa. Oh, hey, Doc. Uh, Doc and I wanted to meet up and do something. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there we go. Super simple stables. Nothing fancy at all. Um, but it will work. Let me just uh, grab my horse and make sure that it will work. Jump out. There we go. So you should just be able to open the gates, bring your horse in, get off the horse, close the gates, and then your horse can just chill there for a little bit. Yeah. Lovely. Awesome. And then I think I'm just going to, uh, I'll put a sign on it. We'll say, um, do, do, there we go. And we'll just say community stables for the time being. There we go. Nothing fancy. Not, certainly not the greatest thing I've ever built, but very functional and it gets the job done. Cool. All right, let me go get some other stuff ready to go, and we will continue on with our adventure in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back. I'm heading over to uh, the main islands, like right over there. Um, just It's over that way, just barely outside of render distance. Uh, I'm heading to this village over here in the desert, which is uh, a little bit southwest of the main island. The reason I'm heading over here is because all the, all the villages... Uh, on the main island have basically been looted of all their villagers by people who were making villager breeders. And I need to trade. I only have six emeralds. Um, and the mending books in Impulse's shop are ten emeralds each. So I need to try and get a couple more emeralds here. Let's just see Butcher. He's all about raw meat. Okay. Let's see if we can find... What do you sell? Unbreaking? Nitwit sells nothing. Coal for emeralds. Okay, that might be an option. You also sell coal for emeralds. I think, what was this guy? This guy was 22, so this one's 17. That's way cheaper. Lots of nitwits. And then we have a Fletcher that does string. I didn't bring any string with me. So far, the only thing I've seen <laughs> is, is coal. There's, like, nothing here to... They all want coal. It's all blacksmiths and stupid other things. How do you get into this house? Oh, here we go. 24. Yeah, that's that's a definite no-go. Uh, so I guess we'll go 17 coal for some emeralds. And that should... Yeah, I was going to say, that should give him another trade. And now he does uh, iron... And we actually have quite a lot of iron. So I'm going to do... That's 10 emeralds right there. And then we can do... Oh. Yeah, I, I'm going to break this cactus. I want to make sure I don't accidentally throw that on there. There we go. And now he does an efficiency pick. Four diamonds for one emerald. That's actually not, like, super bad. But if I can... Uh, basically, I want to get as many... Of the uh, of these as I can. There we go. Are you happy? No, uh, you're. Looks like you're uh, done. <laughs> you're not. You're not willing to trade anymore. Your trades are. Oh, your coal trade is still here. No. Oh, look at that. We've done it. Okay. Give me all of your emeralds. Look at that. We got 23. 
He doesn't have one for gold. Apparently gold isn't a thing that you can trade to these guys. But that's enough for two mending books. Plus I have six. If I can get like one more emerald from anywhere, then we're basically good. I don't see a single farmer though. And a lot of what I brought was farm stuff. There's also no church. And an unbreaking book? That's not super useful. I think, honestly, like, we could just trade a couple of books to the villager himself, and that will get us three mending books, which is about as good as I can hope for. I can always come back here with more uh, iron and uh, and stuff like that and, and get more emeralds that way. Because ten emeralds for a mending book is, like, super cheap. That th I think that's, like, as good as it gets. So I'm going to go home and sleep. Well, actually, never mind. Exuma already slept for me. So basically, in that case, I'm going to go home and then uh, we'll run over to Impulse's place and get some mending books so we can uh, start getting mending on our tools and all that kind of good stuff. Alrighty, guys, we are back. We're coming up on, I think he's calling it I Trade. I think he was, I think he named it I Trade. I'll look. <laughs> we'll just look. Let's see. Uh, or maybe he doesn't have a sign on it. All right, let's deposit our horse for a minute. Here we go. Yeah, I trade. Almost open for business. Feel free to use the villagers for free. He'll charge eventually. So give me two mending books. Oh, I forgot to grab the extra emeralds from my storage room. Oh, that was real dumb of me. Okay, so tell you what, I'm going to... <laughs> oh, I'm a genius. Um, okay. A new plan. I'll I'll do another one of these uh, villagers off camera or whatever. But for the moment, let's just run to the enchanting area, and uh, we'll put. We have two mending books. Let's put them on our pickaxes. I think that's probably the way to go. Um, or at least maybe one on my fortune pick and one on my sword. Maybe would be better. I mean, my sword, though, has has knockback, and, like, I don't want knockback on my my final sword, if that makes sense. Just because I think, like, I really dislike knockback as an enchantment. It has its uses occasionally, but uh, often it's more harm than good. Uh, but let's put mending onto this guy. We still need to get efficiency 5 on here, but that now has fortune. And then maybe we'll just put our other mending book on our other uh, our other pick, I think, for the time being. And same thing, I also need uh, that efficiency. Uh, I need efficiency five on that guy, too. Oh, and Doc has just done what a deal, which I, I think is for trading with villagers. He actually had said that he was heading to iTrade as well, so he, he might actually be over there. Um... But you know what? I'll do the rest of this stuff off camera. I think, guys, I am out of time for this episode. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one, but that's okay. We got a lot done. We were kind of all over the place. We got the stables built. We got mending. Uh, took a look at the new coral shop and stuff like that. It was a good time. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.